Welcome to today's recap. We will be covering the movie titled, Mercury Rising. The film opens with since July 31, 2018 a prisoner circumstance in South Dakota. FBI specialist craftsmanship Jeffries, as within man, safeguards a young kid named James while attempting to convince bank looter Edgar Halstrom to give up. Nonetheless, the FBI team moves in, and in the following firefight, James and the looters are killed. Jeffries stands up to his boss, Hartley, who makes reference to the fact that they should pay all due respects to Washington. A chafe Jeffries punches Hartley in answer. 20 years sooner or quite a while back as of July 31, 1998, a cryptographic code called Mercury was made by the Public Safety Organization, and is supposedly complicated to such an extent that its makers accept no PC on Earth can unravel it. Initially, it was made during the Reagan organization as a test to stay quiet about the US's most noteworthy need for privileged insights. At some point, the NSA gets a message from a nine-year-old all biggest completely mentally unbalanced chemical imbalance autist autism with massive numerical capacities named Simon Lynch, who calls a phone number written in the code which was covertly distributed in a riddle magazine by two of the makers, Dignitary Crandall and Leo Padronsky, to check whether anybody could break it. Crandall and Padronsky's division boss, Lt. Col. Nicholas Kudrow sees the kid's capacity to translate the code as a grave risk. He dispatches professional killer Peter Burl to kill the kid and his folks, Martin neglects to track down Simon, and leaves at the sound of moving alarms, Martin had the option to call 911 proceeding passing on. Jeffries, who has been downgraded following a conclusion of preposterous distrustfulness, is shipped off to research what is at first remembered to be a homicide self-destruction. While examining the scene, Jeffries finds Simon concealing in a store of his room wardrobe and encourages the kid. Jeffries starts to understand the trouble of safeguarding, not to mention addressing. Simon in view of his debilitated social capacities because of his chemical imbalance, however the Chicago Police Division consent to dole out a security detail to Simon. Burl attempts to kill Simon again at the clinic, however, Jeffries stops him. He is then compelled to end a professional killer named Shays on the Chicago L train. The circumstance is additionally confounded by the way that no one at the FBI except Simon is in any peril. Jeffries is before long outlined by the NSA as a ruffian, with just his closest companion and individual specialist Tommy Jordan mindful that he didn't perpetrate the wrongdoing since Jordan had been in touch with Jeffries when the episode started. Jeffries gets Jordan's vehicle, which Jordan later reports taken to hide his association, and returns Simon to his home. Simon again calls the phone number written in the code and converses with Crandall and Padronsky. At the point when Jeffries faces them, a tangled Crandall organizes a gathering through encoded email at the Wrigley building. The following morning, Jeffries meets a lady named Stacy Sebring in a cafe or cafe like Starbucks Espresso or Starbucks and requests that she watch Simon for him. Jeffries meets Crandall and the two talk and walks around a bustling walkway. Crandall fills Jeffries in about Mercury and Kudrow, then, at that point, Burl shoots him from behind and moves away securely. Jeffries gets back to the bistro, yet Simon and Stacy are gone. He heads outside and spots them going over the road. Stacy says she and Simon have become companions and Simon concurs. Jeffries and Simon then suddenly leave Stacy. Later around midnight, Jeffries and Simon go to Stacy's home, requesting a spot to remain. Stacy hesitantly concurs and lets Jeffries know that she was going on an excursion for work to Des Moines to make the lease the following morning. In the meantime, Pedronsky, having taken in Crandall's destiny, regroups by composing a couple of letters through a typewriter, one to Jeffries and the other to the Senate Oversight's panel, uncovering Kudrow's unlawful activities. Before long, Pendronsky is killed by Burl, who likewise grabs the letters. Notwithstanding, the professional killer forgets to get the duplicates Pedronsky through, which his sweetheart, NSA examiner Emily Lang, takes to the FBI. Jordan watchfully sets up for her to meet with Jeffries to show them both the carbon paper used to type the letter, which, being shrouded in Pedronsky's fingerprints, is essential proof by its own doing. After the gathering with Emily, Jeffries advises Stacy to call anybody for a crisis aside from the police, who were cancelled without a second to spare and gives her Jordan's number in the event of a crisis. While Jeffries acquaints himself with Kudrow at his birthday celebration and requests that Kudrow let Simon be, Jordan, under Jeffries' idea, sorts out for Simon to go into witness insurance. After the gathering, Jeffries calls Jordan, who makes sense that the observer security meeting will occur, however, they are uninformed that Kudrow is checking their discussion. At the point when Jeffries returns and finds Stacy and Simon gone, he gains from Jordan that they are not in no peril and will meet them there. Similarly as Jordan is provided a request to go to the FBI chief's office, Kudrow attempts to have FBI SAC, specialist in control, Joe Lomax assist with reversing the situation on Jeffries by utilizing his position and the way that Jordan organized the observer assurance deceptively. 
he intends to have the NSA assume control over the insurance for the gathering area. After Kudrow leaves, Jordan shows the proof to Lomax and in spite of his underlying questions, Jordan affirms that the finger impression markings on it were Pedronsky's, presently completely approving the proof against Kudrow. Jeffries, with Jordan and a little FBI team's assistance, lay out a snare at the gathering spot. During the last evening taking on conflict, Jordan safeguards Stacy, and the FBI group takes on Burl, who is killed, attempting to get away when the window's victory slices his face open. Jeffries and Kudrow battle about a standoff on the rooftop during which Simon strolls to the edge of the rooftop and gets Kudrow's gunfire Phoenix Blast gun, giving it to Jeffries and permitting him to accept control as Jordan and the group come in. In a final desperate attempt to get his casualty back, during the finish of definite battle about, Kudrow snatches Simon shouting, is fires gunfire Phoenix Blast gun, Nicholas Kudrow Alec Baldwin Phoenix Brilliant Blast Gold firing gunfire 9mm, on Kudrow it wounds blood scar by Jeffries, and Kudrow tumbles down death kill cadaver entombment blood demise building blood obliterated lethal rich parlor on her glasses reflect imploded as kill and passing of Nicholas Kudrow and word voices here, specialist Jeffries. It's Kudrow's piece, I got a 9mm on the walkway. The movie closes with a morning breakfast dawn bright day morning son Jeffries visits Simon presently living with temporary parents at his. Thanks for watching till the end. Like this video and click the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel for more movies.